our bodies and body girls so let's get rid of that buzzing sound I will get back to soon. Um, I decided to do something a little different. I decided to talk about some of the colognes that I use. Um, I'm definitely not an expert. Enjoy perfume and cologne smells very much. Um, so I have about four bottles here, and I'll just describe them a little bit, tell you the notes, my thoughts. Also make some noises with them. this one mostly in warm weather, summer temperature, um, because it is a fresh type of fragrance. It's not heavy. It is kind of a little sweet, but I would say not, not too sweet. It's not like is a very heavy, like, um, sweet-smelling, almost minty vanilla-ish, which I have that as well. Um, that's a classic, um, but it's definitely not that sweet. It's more of a lemony, citrusy sweetness. I almost smell like an apple smell on my skin when I use this. Um, it has also been compared to Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue for women. So it has a similar smell to that. Um, so the top notes would be tarragon, or excuse me, top notes would be lemon, bergamot. 
uh, rosewood and rose. The heart notes would be cedar, tarragon, sage, and pepper. And the base notes are amber, musk, saffron, and woody notes. So this came out in 2006, and I think I got it in... I've been buying this since 2010. I think I've bought two, uh, bought two bottles of this. So far, I only buy this small one because I only use it in hot weather or if I'm in the mood to use it, like after a shower or something. Um, like I said, this is not for everyone. Um, sometimes I want a fresh fragrance that is not sweet. And that's when I'll use, um, like, Periellis uh, 360 Red or whatever it's called. It's a really cheap fragrance and it's very similar to Aqua Di Gio. It's a little more peppery. I feel like, um, and it projects better and lasts longer than Aqua Di Gio. Don't get me wrong, I love Aqua Di Gio, it's a classic, but I actually prefer the, the new Aqua Di Gio better now. It's stronger and it lasts a lot longer, so I'm looking to get a bottle of that in the future because I smelled a sample and I really enjoyed it and it lasted a lot longer than the original. Okay, on to the next bottle. Now this one, the, the, I have two here from the same company. And these are my more expensive kinds fragrances. Whoops. I don't normally spend this much on my fragrances, but I really um, liked these when I smelled them. This is a four ounce bottle. Um, they don't make smaller bottles anywhere around me. And I've tried to order smaller ones, but this was the smallest I could get. This is a very fresh fragrance. Um, I wear this one in the summer when I wear it. Um, when I first spray this on, I immediately think of green. It just reminds me of just fresh, green smelling um, goodness. Again, this one is probably not for everyone. It's more of a... Uh, I think that a lot of people like this one, for sure. But if you're like someone just getting into fragrances or colognes or whatever, this is not uh, something that I would recommend getting as your first buy. Um, because it 
this expensive and if you prefer different smelling colognes rather than fresh um, that would be a waste of money so I would never start with this one and I would always get a sample or go somewhere and smell it first um Let's see. I've, whoops. I think I have. Sorry, my phone. My phone shut off there. Okay, I have the notes on this thing, I think. Just to give you an idea. Okay, so the top notes are iris and lemon verbana or verbena. The middle notes include violet leaves and the base notes are amber ambergris, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, and misor sandalwood. And that's it. There's very few notes in this one. But if you love green smelling stuff, let me give you an example like uh, Irish Spring, I guess, would be a green smelling thing that most people are familiar with if they're not familiar with clones. The original Irish Spring body wash or soap or whatever. If you, you could kind of imagine green when you're smelling that, or at least that's what I do. This smells somewhat similar to that. Obviously, like, not like that. It's, um, way more like a higher end version of that, I guess. It, but it's definitely not Irish Springs, but it's in that direction. Just to give you an idea of what I mean by green. So that's one of my favorites. Um, I've been shifting away from Creed, though, just because the, it, it's they're expensive. Um, and I find that they, at least my Green Irish Tweed, I won't get it again because I got a four ounce bottle and I've had it for like two years and then it started to turn. Um, it would smell like alcohol -y and it just wasn't smelling like normal. I know that colognes and perfumes have a shelf life, but this was, this started turning really quick, it seemed like, so that was a little disappointing because I had uh, like half a bottle left and I, it's basically unwearable. So I won't get that again. I will, however, get this next one, which is almost the same looking bottle. Um, it's Creed again. This is the more popular one. Um, this is called Aventus Everybody in the fragrance community knows uh, Aventus. It's a very popular cologne, high-end cologne, I guess. Um, and I think it smells great. Not everybody loves it, but I would say most people enjoy this smell. smell that just immediately hits you. Um, I smell pineapple for sure. A very strong pineapple smell. Um, let me just read these notes to you. The top notes are black currant, bergamot, apple, and pineapple. Are rose, dry birch, Moroccan, jasmine.
jasmine, and patchouli. In the base notes are oak moss, musk, and vanilla, and amber, ambergris. Sorry. Um, I, it's really hard to, to, to describe this one for me because I'm not like a expert at uh, scents. It just smells really good to me and it's really unique. Not a lot of people wear this. I mean, there are a lot of people that wear it, but I, um, I think it's more for people who really enjoy fragrances because it's expensive. Um, but this one, I definitely recommend checking it out if you like getting compliments by women, or I guess men too. Um, I've been complimented and asked what I was wearing by men, um, because it's just very unique, and it leaves a good impression. Um, and girls seem to love it. Uh, experience. Girls seem to love it. Um, let's go on to the next one. Let's get off of the really expensive colognes and get on to, like, the more designer one. This one. This one has a little ribbon on it. That's what you hear. Um, it has a little CH and then a ribbon on the front. Uh, this is called C.H. Man, and I love this stuff. I really love this stuff. It's, I think it's really, sorry if that's too loud, it's, like, classy really classy, um, it almost smells like it has a leathery smell, like a leathery sweet smell to it, um, but the only problem, which, the only problem with this now, um, I will never purchase another bottle, probably, because they reformulated it, and I got a sample of the reformulated version because I wanted to see if it was similar to the original, and now it is way weaker. It doesn't project nearly as much, and it does not last very long at all. Um, I mean, even this original one on my skin lasted about five hours, maybe six, and it projected for maybe an hour and a half to two hours. I don't even know if it, maybe not two hours, probably an hour and a half where it projected fairly well. Um, but the reformulated version projects for like ten minutes, and it is very weak doesn't project very far, uh, so that's a little disappointing to me because I really love this smell, um, like, it's just, it's really classy, and girls love this one, in my experience, uh, I got a lot of compliments with this one, um, I may check out the other cologne, I forget what it's called, um, but it has, it's C-H, and I think it starts with a P, and it's supposed to be really good, so I may check that one out before it gets reformulated, um, because that might be the next one I move on to. I think it's kind of similar to this one, uh, from what I've been told. Let me find the notes for you on this one. And I'm 
sorry if you guys aren't interested in colognes. I just figured this would be a good time to do this uh, because I'm not. I don't have any gameplay, so I'll just like I'll have images of the colognes that pop up as for the ones that I'm talking about. Okay, so this was this came out in 2009. And I think I bought it in like 2013 or 14, I can't remember. Um, the top notes on this one are bergamot, grapefruit. Wait, they incorporate luminous bergamot and grapefruit skin. Adding a spicy heart full of saffron and nutmeg blended with woody notes, jasmine, and violet. The base is composed of amber, vanilla, leather, moss, sugar. Yeah, that's why I said it, it, it's like a sweet, leathery smell to me. You could definitely smell the leather and the sugar. It, and it's only, yeah, it's a vanilla too. You could definitely smell that. Um, especially when it starts to dry down, for sure. Um, I think girls like it because it has a sweeter smell, but it's not girly. It's, it's manly. Um, it's a manly sweet smell. So, it, I don't know. I, I think it's really nice. Okay, let me move on to my last one here. I don't even know how long I've been doing this for. But we're going to move on to the last bottle I have here. And this one is the oldest bottle in my collection. I mean, well, maybe Creed Green Irish Tweed came out before this. I can't, re I don't remember that date, but I know this one came out in the 80s. Um, yeah, I meant oldest by the date that it came out, not by the oldest in my collection. Um, let me just, I'm going to spray this because I love it. stuff is great. This is a classic. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> this one's so hard to describe. <laughs> this is so hard to describe. I don't even, I gotta smell this again. <laughs> uh, it's so good to me. Um, this is this is all personal preference, again. Um, but this one, the minute I got it, I loved it. It was really a unique smell to me. I've never smelled it before. I don't, I don't think anybody around my area wears this. One second. that happens if my cell phone messes with the mics and my recorder's not even near it and normally when the phone is near the recorder that's when it makes that buzzing noise anyways this one is really hard to describe to me it is called Fahrenheit and it's by Dior and I will definitely be purchasing this again this will probably probably always be in my my collection um I don't even know how to describe this it is I keep saying that because I really don't um it is a I, th I feel like it's fresh, sort of. It's a fresh, woody type of, maybe 
maybe not even Woody, not maybe not even Woody. This is like, I'm gonna say something and people are gonna be like, what? What are you talking about? It almost has like an oil smell to it, not like virgin olive oil. I'm talking about like all oil, petroleum. Um, it almost has like a greasy, gassy, petroleum vibe to it. And you think like, maybe not gassy, but definitely like petroleum. And I know you're thinking, how the hell does petroleum and oil smell good? Uh, I don't know, but it does. It smells really good to me. Um, you just, I, if you haven't smelled this already, you should smell it. It's a classic. It's been out since 1988. This one, I... I think almost anybody could pull this off, young or old, um, but I think that, I think younger girls would prefer something sweeter. This is not very sweet. Um, on the dry down, it's pretty sweet, at least on my skin. Just trying to think like if you're in school like high school or something like I was I was into colognes and fragrances when I was in high school and I don't think this would be a good one to start with I would go with like Aqua Di Gio or something um the original Aqua Di Gio or you know Perry Ellis 360 Red those are like easy blind buy safe picks um, that's for fresh, and if you want, like, a winter fragrance, I mean, La Male is, like, classic, girls like it, it's sweet, or you can go with the Versace Eros, I think it's called, I haven't smelled it in a while, but I know that one's really sweet, and girls seem to like sweet fragrances, um, I tend to lean towards more manlier smells personal preference but I definitely have a lot of sweet smelling stuff too so um, but yeah I think this is a safe blind buy pick for anybody 20 and up um, for a fresh like fall summer or summer spring I guess this even works in fall. this actually works year round you can have this as like your main fragrance or signature scent or whatever you want to call it. Um, but there are a lot of people who don't like it. Um, I'm talking about guys. They put it on their skin and it just doesn't work well with their skin or they just don't enjoy the smell. But um, I think most people would be okay buying this but I would definitely smell it first I, I actually I'm gonna take that back I don't think it's a blind buy um, I would smell it first I think the majority of people would like it but it's not something like Aqua Di Gio that's almost like universally liked as a fresh fragrance that is really safe um, as popular as this is It's just as, you know, when you say petroleum and stuff, I think it, it's probably better to smell it first. <laughs> Let's talk about the notes. The top notes are lavender, mandarin orange, hawthorn, nutmeg flower, cedar, bergamot, chamomile, and lemon. The middle notes are nutmeg, honeysuckle, carnation, sandalwood, Violet Leaf, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, and Cedar. And then the base notes are Leather, Tonka Bean, Amber, Patchouli, Musk, and Vetiver. Now, though these are just a few of the ones in my collection, and most of these are safe picks. Um, universally liked. 
liked pretty much. Um, I have a lot of fragrances that are either loved or hated, and maybe I'll do another video on the rest of my colognes if people are interested and enjoyed this one. Um, but that's all I have, and I really hope you guys like this one. I'm, I'm not even sure as I'm recording this if you guys will like this. Maybe you'll all hate it. Um, I hope not. Anyways, I'll see you guys Wednesday. <laughs>